So you want to be able to draw a shape in QGIS. The way that we do this in more recent versions of QGIS is now different to the way we used to do it. And so this is an update on an older methodology. If you want to see that older method, you can click on this link here and that will take you to a video in which I go through the old style of doing that. So if you've got an older version of QGIS, this older version might be the one that's more appropriate to you. But let's say you've got the most up-to-date version of QGIS and you want to draw a shape. How do you do it? Well, a shape in QGIS can't exist unless it has a layer in which to live. Okay, it needs a, a kind of a layer as its own home. So in order to draw in QGIS, we first need to create a layer. To do this, we go layer, create layer, new temporary scratch layer. If you want, you can also edit an existing layer. We can get into that a little bit later. So if you create a new temporary scratch layer, you're gonna get this box. We can just leave the title exactly as it is, but we wanna change the geometry type from no geometry to polygon because we're going to be drawing a polygon. The second thing we wanna do is make sure that the CRS, so that's the coordinate reference system of this layer, matches our project. So to do that, we just click on this drop down menu here and we press project CRS. Now, if you've already changed the CRS of your project, then uh, it's going to be different to what appears on my screen. But as long as it's the same CRS as your project, you should be in a good place. The reason we do that is just to keep things nice and tidy and also make sure that we're drawing as accurately as we can. So those are the only two settings that I'm actually going to change, the geometry type and the CRS. I'm going to press OK and we can see that we've got a brand new layer over here on our layers panel. The second thing we need to do is enable a toolbar. For some reason, QGIS has introduced a new way of drawing shapes. And in order to get to the tools by which we draw shapes, we need to enable this new toolbar. So to get that new toolbar, we need to go to view, toolbars, shape digitizing toolbar. And once we enable that, we should see a series of tools which will be grayed out at this stage appear in the uh, top left toolbars. The other toolbar that we need to make sure is enabled, in case it isn't, is the digitizing toolbar. So we can, just as before, go to View, Toolbars, Digitizing Toolbar. Okay, so now that we've got our digitizing shape toolbar and our digitizing toolbar, we can find this icon here, which is Add Polygon Feature. Now, if the geometry type of your layer is different, let's say it's a point style layer or a line string style layer, then this button here will be Add Point Feature or Add Line Feature. But because we created the layer as a polygon style uh, layer, this button here is Add Polygon Feature. So let's go ahead and press that button and you can see that it enables all the other options in our shape digitizing toolbar. Now, if I just go over into my canvas and left click once and then right click once, there we are, I've created a rectangle. If I wanna change the, uh, the nature of this shape, I can just change the options using the shape digitizing uh, toolbar. So I can change from a rectangle to a regular polygon and once again left click once right click once and there's my new shape so if i want to create a circle i can choose the circle from two points left click once and then right click once I can also enable different ways of drawing that same geometry. So instead of uh, creating a circle just from two points, I can create it using three points or from a tangent or from two tangents in the point, whichever way I want. Um, so these are just basic kind of uh, primitive shapes, but you can also uh, draw much more complicated shapes if you want, just by adding more and more and more points. So we would do that, for example, by changing the option here in the digitize shape option from digitize shape to digitize with segment. So let's say I wanted to create more of a freehand style shape. I would need to change from digitize shape to digitize with segment. And the way we draw it then is left click once, left click again, 
and left click as many times as I want. And you can see each time I left click, I create a vertex. Right click once and there's my custom shape. So this would be really useful if you wanted to trace certain elements in a drawing or something else in another layer um, and you wanted to do it very carefully, this is how you would do it. Finally, if you wanted to snap your points to another point, because let's say there's an existing vector shape on one layer or the same layer, and you want to make sure that you are tracing it very exactly, as in you're matching the point to point to point, then you will need to enable snapping. Now, I already have the snapping toolbar turned on. It is up here. Um, but if you don't have the snapping toolbar, once again, just go to View, Toolbars, Snapping Toolbar, it's right there. And then you'll have the snapping toolbar appear. You still need to enable snapping. Um, I guess the shortcut is also S. Uh, so you hit the magnet button. And now if I, I haven't changed anything else, but if I hover over the points, you can see the vertex is highlighted and my cursor is snapping to that point. The final step in order to make sure that you don't lose all of this work is to save the changes to your layer. Remember, if you don't press save layer edits, all of this work will disappear. This is a separate function to the save project, okay? So just because you're pressing save and you're saving a project, it doesn't necessarily mean you're saving edits to a layer. So always make sure you are pressing save layer edits. So try to make sure that this button is always grayed out, which would mean that there are no further saves to make. And then if you're really happy with the way your layer looks, you can just go ahead and turn off editing automatically. So when you create a new layer, toggle editing is automatically turned on. But if you don't want to have the editing mode turned on, maybe because you don't want to accidentally change anything, it's good practice to turn editing off. So that is just this yellow pencil icon here. You can press that once. And now all of the editing options are grayed out and you can't change them. This is the same function we use if we want to make edits to an existing layer. So let's say we've brought in a different layer and we want to change the geometry or add new shapes or remove shapes from that layer. We would need to select that layer and find this toggle editing option. If we press toggle editing once again, we can edit the geometry in this layer. So if we want to delete an existing shape, we just need to be able to select it. So we want to use this cursor over here, select features by area or single click. And then if we just click and drag, we can select any feature. Um, and if I want to delete this, I can just press delete. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to delete it? And I can press yes. And there we go. The shape is deleted. Of course, if I want to commit this change to disk, if I want to save this edit to this layer, I, I now need to press save layer edits. Now, if I wanted to add points or line style shapes, it's exactly the same process. I just need to go layer, create layer, new temporary scratch layer. And this time, instead of choosing polygon, I choose line string or points. Make sure that the CRS is the same as the project, press OK. And this time, because it's a point style layer, the option up here says add point feature as opposed to add polygon feature. But apart from that, it's pretty much the same thing. And I can just add points as I please. The final, final thing that, that it's worth mentioning is that because we created a temporary scratch layer, this layer will be discarded when we close QGIS. The other way you can tell this is because there's this little icon next to the layer itself. So if I hover over the icon, it's gonna tell me temporary scratch layer only. Contents will be discarded after closing this project. So this is really bad if we really like our drawing and we want to keep it. So in order to make sure that this layer is saved to disk, that is, it's not just kept in the memory of the project and will be uh, thrown away whenever we close, in order to save it to disk, we just have to go right click on the layer and press make permanent. That way, we're going to be prompted by QGIS to first determine the format. And if we want, we can make it a geo package or a shapefile or actually any of these other types of formats. And then we just have to save it 
to a location on the disk. If you don't do that, once again, the layers will be discarded. So make sure you save your scratch layers, if they are scratch layers, to disk before closing. And that, in a nutshell, is how you create shapes in the more recent versions of QGIS.